Hi guys, Curly Susie here today from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, and in today's video, I'm gonna do a very quick video about my go-to hairstyles. So on days that you don't wanna wear your hair all the way down, maybe you have to work that day, you work in a job where you can't wear your hair down, or you just don't feel like having your hair down in your face, I'm gonna show you my top five, I think, maybe six um, curly and wavy hairstyles. So let's get right into it. So I just want to start by saying that my hair, I just recently got quite a bit cut off my hair and I had two haircuts in the last few months. So my hair was about four inches longer than this, not that long ago. All of these hairstyles I show you are the same hairstyles that I wore when my hair was a little bit longer. So if your hair is like my length or a little shorter or if your hair is long, these hairstyles will work for you. Before I show you the actual styles, I'm going to tell you that the most important part is the base or what you do to your hair before you style it. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I mean by that. When you tie your hair back, the highlight of your hair is now going to be um, up in like the crown of your head and in your root area. So if you didn't take steps to make sure you have a little bit of volume and you have some curl at the roots, your updo is not gonna look as curly and as cute. So, um, and speaking of which, uh, today I styled my hair. I actually used some new products today and I did a little review on them today So that's gonna be on my channel today as well I just said today like five times, but you guys you don't even care do you? Um, so this is the Maui moisture revive and hydrate shea butter shampoo and conditioner So today I co-washed my hair with the conditioner. Uh, I rinse it with cold water I'll leave my little hair routine right here. You guys know it's been the same forever But anyway, I rinse my hair with cold water. I put my gel in my hair in the shower and then I let my hair air dry and I actually went to the dentist today and I was laying on the dental chair so my hair in the back is a little bit flat but I did take steps to make sure that I had a little bit of volume at the roots and that my hair was curly at the roots so typically because my hair is curly slash wavy especially when my hair was longer if I just let my hair air dry and I didn't pin the top up at all, uh, this part of my hair would be really straight because the weight would be like pulling my hair down straight. So now I always pin up the top and I talk about this a lot in my videos. So this is especially important if you're going to be wearing your hair up or half up and half down. I do have a cold today, so I have to apologize for my voice and I'm going to cough in a second. <coughs> oh my god. Okay, so like I said, the most important part is to make sure that you pin the top part of your hair back to create some volume and some uh, curl at the roots. If you diffuse your hair, which a lot of you do, and I do on occasion, you don't really have to worry about pinning it back because you're gonna tip your head upside down and you're gonna scrunch the hair as you diffuse it, or you're gonna diffuse it in such a way that you get a little bit of lift at the top and a curl at the root. But I let my hair air dry, I don't know, nine out of 10 times. So. so when my hair is still wet, um, before I leave the house or do whatever I have to do, uh, before it starts to really dry, I take some bobby pins and I always pin uh, the top part of my hair up loosely, kind of half up and half down, whether I'm gonna wear my hair down or not. And that just gives me a little bit of volume, like I mentioned, and a little bit of curl at the root. But anyway, we're gonna get right into the hairstyles. So the first one I'm going to do is my go to I would say if I'm not wearing my hair down this is how my, I wear my hair uh, and this is like a half up and half down and I do a little top knot so I just take this part of my hair this is like and again my hair is all curly underneath so it's looking pretty good and I only take like where my hairline starts to change like where that little peak is so kind of like over my eye very loosely And I just curl it into a little flat bun. And I'm going to bobby pin it. I'll try to show you. So that's just one bobby pin, but then I always, especially where I use gel, I always have like these little ends that stick up. So I'm gonna take a second or third bobby pin and I'm just gonna pin these loose ends. Uh, this is another reason I use bobby pins more so than a claw clip because I find you can hide like the little ends better and it just looks a bit more neat and tidy. Okay, so guys, that is so basic, but this is one of my everyday hairstyles. See, look. 
curly in that, and I got my little bun in that. There, so that's number one, that was easy. The more I touch my hair, the worse this is gonna get. But anyway, I'm just gonna take that down real quick. Okay, so my second most common hairstyle is I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot. But I don't want it to look like just like a messy ponytail. Um, I want it to look curly and I want it to look cute, so I'm gonna show you how I do that. So again, I find the most important part is this part of my hair. So I'm gonna use um, one of these elastics, or you can use a satin scrunchie. I just like this because it's close to my natural hair color and you don't really see it a whole lot. And I'm gonna use probably, I'm gonna say, three bobby pins. So this is my ponytail. So, most important part to me is this top part. So I'm sorry I'm not looking directly at you guys, I'm kind of looking at myself in the monitor here. But I take this and I loosely pin it back and I kind of twist some of it. And I'll make a couple pins right on top of my head so you can't really see them. There's one. And let's see, take some from here. I kind of twist it a little bit just to kind of accentuate the curliness. There's two. And just kind of twisting this a little bit. There's three. I find I have to play around with this a little bit. Then take my hair from behind my ears. And I put it in a low ponytail. When my hair was longer, I really loved this. I thought it looked so good. Um, okay, let me see how this looks now. Okay, so here it is from the front. And the side is much better. Just kind of scrunching some more gel out of my hair. There's the side. And there's the other side. What do you think? I think it looks pretty. Um, a lot of people that follow my channel are nurses. Um, I'm a nurse and we have to wear our hair all the way back and you really should wear your hair off your shoulders. So when I'm pinning my hair all the way back, here is my go-to like all the way up do. Um, <clears throat> and often I will use an elastic, but it always looks better when I just use bobby pins. And I know you're probably thinking like, Susie, you have way too much hair to just use bobby pins, but it really works so well for me. So, taking these bad boys out. And the more I touch my hair, again, the frizzier it's gonna get, but you know what, that's the name of the game. Where's the last one? Okay, so for my all the way up do, I part my hair on one side. So like that, like it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? This little piece is gonna drive me. And then I take this part of my hair behind my ear and put it back. I'm gonna take one or two pins and stick them right here. I use a lot of bobby pins, hey. I never use more than like, I don't know, six bobby pins, so there's two. Okay, done. And then I take the rest of my hair, this is all hanging down for a minute. Don't worry about that. If you don't have bangs, you don't have to worry about this. Or not bangs, a fringe, I should say. But anyway, so I have this hair back in my ponytail. This is a, this actually would be a cute ponytail. Just with like the bangs like that and that. Anyway, and I take this hair and then I turn it around. And I twist it into a bun. And then I tuck this part kind of underneath like this. And then I just pin the shit out of it. Okay, so I'm going to put some pins in there. And like, I just find bobby pins look better than a claw clip, but if you are in a rush, or if you're heading into work and you just have to stick your hair up, you could just use a big claw clip. But I just try to make my hair look a little bit more fancy, especially now that I'm on YouTube, guys. I can't be going around with my hair looking all like garbage. All right, and then I just take this part. Oh, my guys, I kind of like this too, like for going out or something with the hair down. I couldn't wear my hair like this to work. It'd be, it would drive me nuts, but anyway, there's that. And then I take uh, one last bobby pin and I'm gonna loosely pin this. 
back here. There. And this is kind of boring. Just wait. I'm going to go throw some earrings in, which I wouldn't wear to work, but I think they'll look cute. If you wear your hair in a style like this, keep some extra bobby pins in your pocket, just in case like little pieces fall out, um, and you should be good to go. All right, so for my next hairstyle, it is a style I could wear to work, um, and it is like the messy bun. Um, so, guys, it's 35 years old, too old to wear your hair in like the messy top bun. I hope not, because I'm still rocking it. Okay, so here's my messy bun. So again, I'm going to use my elastic, and I'm going to very loosely, like so loosely, take up the two sides. I'm going to leave this hanging out, and all the way up the back, okay, like right on the top of my head, like so. See my little palm tree? And the only thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to just make my bun like this and just pull it through um, because I find it doesn't look as good as pinning it. So I have my little palm tree and I got some hair hanging out. Well, anyway, then I got my bobby pins. I'm just going to part my hair over the top so there's like a little circle in the middle. I'm going to start to take the hair and separate it and wrap it around loosely and pin it into place. So yes, I do I do use a lot of bobby pins. This style only needs like three or four bobby pins, but I do prefer bobby pins to using like a claw clip or something. I know I keep repeating myself, but I just think it looks like more natural, they're easy to hide, and then you don't have a big clip sticking out. I am gonna leave a little piece out, but if that drives you nuts, you can just pin all of it back. So for my final hairstyle, and I've been wearing my hair like this since I was like, I don't know, 12. I do wear my hair like this a lot if I'm in my house, uh, especially in the summer. I will put my hair in two loose braids, and this is a good protective style. And this is a good style if your hair is like super just frizzy that day or your curls just don't look great because it does hide a lot. Um, I don't think I would wear my hair in two braids at work just because I find it's like too cutesy or something it might not be as professional as wearing it all up in a bun but I do wear my hair like this so again what I normally will do is I don't part my hair directly in the middle I'll just kind of gently part my hair over to one side and then I part my hair down the middle and I will take a comb which I don't have or I'll take a bobby pin well, and I'll just start right at like the crown and draw a straight line down so that I get a nice even part. But when your hair is curly and the braids are loose, it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line. I just like it to be kind of straight. And anyway, I'm just gonna take one section of my hair. I don't even know, I wouldn't even call this a hairstyle because it's so easy. And I'm just gonna very loosely braid my hair and then I'm gonna do something with the top. So I'm gonna very loosely braid my hair and it's not going to be perfect, and pieces are going to stick out, especially now that my hair is a bit shorter. And I don't even have two matching elastics, so I'm just going to use my little elastic. You can buy these in little mini sizes, and I should definitely get some. Yeah, because that's a little, this is a little bulky for me, this elastic. I think if I was wearing my hair like this, I would just use um, two just regular elastics for a change. And I'd just be careful removing them. And then I'm going to take this side... Same thing, very loosely, and I'm pulling straight down so that they're not sticking out like Pippi Long stockings. Does anybody remember what Pippi Long stockings' horse's name was? I was having a conversation about this at work the other night. I feel like her horse's name was Old Man, am I right? If anybody is out there and you know, please comment down below. So guys, this is my last hairstyle. Um, and again, I think I would use just like regular elastics at the bottom and I just wouldn't put them in there too tight and I'd be careful removing them so I didn't break my hair. Um, and I do wear my hair like this a lot, especially in the summer. And anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about the hairstyles, you can leave them in the comments section below. 
I'm going to leave you guys with a little video clip of my little man like I like to do sometimes because he's so freaking cute and some of you would like to see him. So anyway, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. You can give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Where's the video? Look him putting his hand in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. When he was bent down before, that's what he was. Cheese. Cheese. Cheese.